You see, these Baltimore Ravens, they always up to something. Always. Whether we see it in broad daylight or not, they always up to something. And today, it was no different. When I first saw this notification that the Ravens were signing Laquan Treadwell, I was like, hmm. And that got me to thinking. And we're going to talk about what it got me to thinking in a bit. But before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Y'all are watching, which I appreciate and, and love. Y'all are commenting, which I appreciate and love. But make sure you subscribe too and turn notifications on so you do not miss not one thing. Now, Laquan Treadwell, let's, let's read the report first. Came from Tom Pelissero. He said, the Ravens are adding another receiver. It feels like good to like hear that. Another receiver. Not the Ravens are adding a receiver, but another. Because the Ravens, like obviously, they've been very busy. Uh, and the wide receiver department this year. But anyway, back to the report. He says, the Ravens are adding another receiver. They've agreed to terms with one-time Vikings first-round pick, Laquan Treadwell. On a one-year deal, his agent, Michael Portner, said. So, the Ravens are bringing him in. Now, he, of course, has spent some time. He first started off in Minnesota. Just didn't work out there. He went to Atlanta. Went Spent some time in Duval and Jacksonville. Uh, and now he's oh, and then last year he spent some time in Seattle, uh, but now he's in Baltimore. Now, uh, when this when I first saw this, I was like, huh? They they signing another receiver? And when I saw that it was him, it got me to thinking like, ooh, okay. Two things. One, I was thinking, all right, somebody about to get shipped out at wide receiver, or I was thinking, uh oh, could somebody be hurt? At wide receiver. Now, the first one, I'm, I'm leaning more to the first one as far as somebody possibly being shipped out because, I mean, yeah, I get the camp bodies and I get that and whatnot. You, you want the, the more to marry. I mean, they do it all the time at quarterback. It's the offseason. You can have a, a up to 90 man roster. So I get that, but I was like, mm, I don't know, man. Why would they sign Treadwell to a one year deal now? It, it just got me to thinking like, hey, maybe there's a trade on the way. Ravens getting ready to move off of somebody or possibly release somebody. We'll see. I don't know. But then again, then that led me to maybe, oh, did somebody get hurt like in the OTAs or something? Did somebody like, uh, or the workouts, but did, did somebody like hurt themselves? I hope not. I, I hope that's not the case. But hey. then I was thinking, hey, could it just straight up be a depth move? Could it be a move for more bodies there and no more, no less? And that's it. It could be. I don't think that, but it could be. Now, I've been wrong before. There's going to be plenty of times where I'm wrong again, but I, I just don't think this is a move. For, oh, you know what? Let's just, let's just bring in another wide receiver just, just for fun. But, hey, time will tell. We'll see. Now, with Laquan Treadwell, um, just looking at his numbers, I know Jeff Zrebic brought out how he had uh, six catches for 42 yards uh, in six games for the Seahawks last year, but just his overall career numbers. Um, throughout his career, uh, he has caught 110 catches for 1,226 yards and five touchdowns. Now, that is like if this was his season stats, that would be great. It'd be good. That's a solid contributor. Uh, somebody getting touchdowns, getting a good amount of yards, getting a good amount of catches. But this is for his entire career. Now, um, for the reasons why his career just hasn't got off to the greatest start, I, I, I'm, I'm naive to that. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what happened in Minnesota. I remember hearing his name back then, um, and things weren't so good, but I don't remember exactly what the reason was. But now, uh, with him... Going to the Baltimore Ravens, what could he be looking for? Like, think about that. What, what, what could he really be looking for? What was he promised? What was he told when he agreed to sign with the Baltimore Ravens? Was he, was he told, like, hey, you can compete for a roster spot. Come, come here. Give, give it a shot. See what you got. Okay, cool. Or was, was he given more promise than that? Now, it would be hard to imagine that he was given a lot of promise because they have a Rashad Bateman. They have an Odell Beckham Jr. They have a Nelson Aguilar. They have a Zay Flowers. So with the, the four right there, like just right there alone, it's like, woof. And then before we even get to another receiver, you got to throw Mark Andrews in there. You could even throw Likely in there if you want to, but you even take out Likely. You just throw Mark Andrews in there and you look at the top five, it's like, whoa. And then you got to factor in J.K. Dobbins, who, like, 
So it's like he wanted to give his goodbyes the other day. Is up, but you you factor in J.K. Dobbins, and this is before we even get to the running game. I'm just talking about the passing game alone. Because they're going to be the check downs to the running backs and whatnot. So whether it's J.K. Dobbins, whether it's Gus Edwards, whether it's Justice Hill, whether it's Mitchell, whether whoever it may be. So that's and that's before you even we didn't even talk about a Devin Duvernay yet. So with we ain't talk about Prochet yet either. We ain't talk about Tyler Watt. Like so that's what I'm talking about with Treadwell. Like what was the reason? Or is this you know? Because the Ravens have said it before. Like because. If you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, then, hey, this could be one of those Treadwell situations. Because they have spoken about it before numerous times where they'll, whether they sign somebody or they, they may work out somebody. They may bring in somebody for a visit just to sort of try to get their name buzzing around the league again. But this is more than that because he's actually signing so it's not just a thing where, all right, hey, Laquan Treadwell, you want to come in for a visit? You want to come in for a workout? Hey, we, we, we trying to put your name out there again. We trying to put you on. No, they actually signed him. So this is why I think, again, just my opinion. I don't know nothing from nothing. But this is why I think that somebody could be on the move. We'll see. Now, um, it's funny. We always talk about timing. And... This is the Ravens signing a former first-round pick at wide receiver. He got drafted in 2016, I believe. It's funny because their former first-round pick at wide receiver who got drafted in 2015, he got signed a couple of hours ago by the Colts. Coincidence? <laughs> I, don't, I can't tell you. I don't know. But that is Brashad Perryman. Brashad Perryman, he signed with Indianapolis uh, a few hours back. Now, it did come out that um, one of Indianapolis players, they got caught gambling and betting on stuff. I don't get into all the gambling and all the betting and all that. But um, one of their players got caught. They didn't say which player it was. They said it's somebody that a lot of people will know, but they didn't say it's like a big star player or anything like that. But it, they did say it's a, it's a player that a lot of people will be familiar with. So I'm thinking it's going to be a wide receiver. That, that's what I was thinking. Just because of the timing of Brashad Perryman signing uh, with the Colts, I'm thinking it will be a wide receiver on the Colts who got caught betting on the team or whatever whatever it was. So they're bracing for that suspension, however long it's going to be. But again, we'll see. A lot of stuff that I'm thinking that we're talking about in this video, it's, it's just a wait and see type of thing. And we'll see when we get there. Um, but anyway, back to the Ravens. Maybe they were feeling some type of way when they saw Brashad Perryman's name come across their screen. They were like, oh, Perryman got signed? Okay, you know what? Let, let's go do the same thing, too, because we feeling uh, just a tad bit jealous. But anyway, um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But again, I'm thinking somebody's on the move. That, that's just, that, that would be my gut feeling. Now, I do got a big gut, so it may be getting mixed up with some other feelings in there, but that, that's what I would think, that somebody would be on the move. But, hey, if I'm wrong, okay, then I'll be wrong. And y'all know I'll let you know if I was wrong. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, I love y'all. Team Keep It Clean. I appreciate y'all, Team Keep It Clean. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on because I don't want you missing not a thing. Please. I don't want you to miss nothing. So subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. If you like the videos, leave a like on the video. That helps out the channel a lot, more than you realize. That little less than half a second it takes you to click the thumbs up button, it helps out so much. So I, I appreciate y'all for helping out. I appreciate y'all for rocking with us. I appreciate y'all for supporting. Thank you so much. So we'll see what happens with Laquan Treadwell. We'll see what kind of opportunity he gets. And hey, I hope that he makes it tough for the Ravens. I really do. I hope he makes it tough for the Ravens. I, I really, and what I mean when I say that is that he goes in there and is like, hey, this is why I was a first round draft pick. Now, again, it, it's going to be hard because Ravens got, they got a lot, they got, they got some depth at receiver. We can actually say that with confidence. They got some depth at receiver, but having even more, it ain't never hurt nobody. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all, and we out.